road, kids. We are going to try all the vegan fast food burgers around LA. And we've done a few different things like this. We've sampled here and there. We've gone out on the road. We tried Taco Bell. Not a lot of other places have enough vegan options to justify an episode or a video dedicated just to them. Like freaking McDonald's doesn't even have like a vegan burger, which is crazy. But there are some vegan burgers out there. So today we're gonna try the Impossible Whopper at Burger King. We're gonna try the Wendy's veggie burger that they apparently have. And we're gonna try the Carl's Jr. Beyond Burger, which I have heard they're gonna discontinue after April, 2024. At the time of this filming, it is March, 2024, but we're gonna try it anyway. Hopefully they'll bring it back. We're also gonna do a couple of local burgers, Kevin Hart's vegan burger at Hart House, and then the Mr. Charlie's, which is the vegan version of McDonald's. That's the plan. Let me put some makeup on. Y'all rightfully shamed me for my concealer not matching. I truly bought the wrong shade because I ordered it online a long time ago during like Black Friday and I ordered so many of them that I was like what a waste because I couldn't return it because it was final sale. So I was like maybe I can just like get away with it. You can't. You can't get away with it. <laughs> There's no way around it. So I got one that matches better. Thanks for keeping it real. A lot of the times I like don't like being told what to do, but this was justified. Really hoping that we aren't disappointed by any of these places, that they haven't like sneakily removed them from their menus because the options are bleak. In-N-Out Burger doesn't even have one. What the hell is up with that? Jack in the Box doesn't have one. What are you doing? It's embarrassing. Honestly, In-N-Out, I'm embarrassed. Jack in the Box, also embarrassed, but less surprised. It is actually surprising me that McDonald's doesn't have a vegan burger. They do in the UK. I'm gonna do my eye makeup and we're gonna hit the road. Oh, it's beautiful outside today. Stunning. It's time to get the. Oh, bird took a big old dump on my car. Our first stop is going to be probably Burger King. Hi, um, could I please get the Impossible Whopper? Can I just remove any dairy from that? Just like no cheese, no mayo. You want mayonnaise? Yeah, no mayonnaise, no cheese. You say you want mayonnaise, right? Uh, no mayonnaise, no cheese, please. Okay. My daughter's 19 cents, and thank you, come to the window. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think I made that way more confusing than it needed to be. So when I'm screaming things, it's just harder to feel a not annoying. So the nice guy at Burger King just gave me this crown, which I thought was a nice touch. It doesn't really fit in the car. There we go. I got the Impossible Whopper. I got it without the mayo and without cheese, but with everything else. So lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup, pickles. It was $9.19. Okay, there's some TLC put into this Impossible Whopper. It doesn't look too bad. It would definitely be better if they had vegan mayonnaise and vegan cheese, but you know, all things considered, the lettuce actually looks really good. My crown fell off, but that's okay. Oh damn, the Whopper is really finding her light right now. Hmm. okay. Okay. This is pretty good. Without cheese and without mayo, the produce is good. Like the quality of the tomato and the lettuce are good and they're carrying this. The pickles are everything. I think in the future I would ask for extra pickles for like extra flavor. They definitely cooked this Impossible Burger within an inch of its life, but that's not surprising. I mean, I feel like that's any burger at a fast food place, but honestly, this is pretty good. I'm impressed by this. This is this is not an insult. Let's say that. It's not an insult. They forked up the money for the Impossible Burger. $9 is basically what you pay for an Impossible Burger for two at the grocery store, but still, if you're on the road, like if I was on the road, I would get this. To make it really good, they need vegan mayo and vegan cheese. I'm between a B plus and an A minus. I think I'm gonna give it a B plus. It's amazing that they have this as an option. They just don't have any dairy vegan options, but this is pretty good. I would add extra pickles in the future. I'm gonna give it a B plus. Burger King, I'm happy and I'm proud of you. Automatically like you better than McDonald's for many reasons actually, but especially for this right now, we're off to a good start. Next up, we've got Wendy's. One of my fears has come true. Wendy's does not have a veggie burger. I was fed misinformation. I don't even remember where I heard, I, it was online. I Googled it and they said that they had a veggie burger, like a black bean veggie burger. Maybe that's in some other state or country. I don't know if Wendy's is international, but they don't have it anymore. But the people were very nice and felt very bad and it's not their fault. God damn it, Wendy's, come on, do a little bit of something. You've been around for so damn long. Quality is our recipe. 
couldn't think of anything to retort back to that. <laughs> you and your red hair, clearly you don't want the vegans and the vegetarians to sit at the table. Come on, I don't want a salad. And the salads have chicken in them anyway. We're going to Heart House next. Should I try In-N-Out? Do they, they, I'm pretty sure they have nothing. The line at In-N-Out was way too long to justify me paying for a couple of buns with ketchup in them. So that was a bummer. I needed a pick-me-up. Which reminds me, we should talk about today's sponsor. Okay, so I'm super excited to talk about today's sponsor, Mudwater. Fun fact, I actually met the founder of Mudwater at Lightning in a Bottle back in 2019 while he was painting some beautiful picture. I'm someone who loves the morning ritual of having like a nice cold iced latte or an iced matcha latte, but I am also so sensitive to caffeine, especially if I've had a caffeinated drink anytime after like 12 p.m. But that's what's so exciting about mud water. I can still get the energy that I need even if it's like an afternoon drink but I don't get the crash or the jitters. Honestly, mud water is extremely helpful for a video like these fast food ranking videos where I'm doing it all day, eating, 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 but I just can't handle like a coffee in the middle of the day. Every ingredient in mud water was added for a purpose. Cacao and chai for a hint of caffeine and hot chocolate-like flavor, lion's mane for focus, cordyceps to promote natural energy, and chaga and reishi to support a healthy immune system. What I personally love is that mud water donates monthly to psychedelic research, and they, like me, believe that psychedelic treatment is one of the most effective ways to combat and treat many major mental health conditions. In life, there's always a balance, but with mud water, you get the lift without the crash. And the great news is that mud water is hooking all of you guys up. If you go to mudwater.com slash Merle, you can try mud water today. That's M-U-D-U-T-R dot com slash Merle. Thanks again, mud water. Let's get back to the video. All right. A friendly face. A friendly freaking face. Could I just get a single burger, just a sandwich, please? Single burger, just a sandwich? Yeah, with everything on it, please. All right, so it was gonna be dollars second one. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Less expensive than the Impossible Whopper, and it comes with a vegan signature sauce and vegan cheese. Let me get my tasting crown back on. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna wear the crown because Hard House just gave me a burger. This is less money than the Impossible Whopper. Their whole menu is vegan. Don't you know who's the star of the show here? It's not my steering wheel. So for less money, I got all this sauce, lettuce, tomato, onions, vegan cheese, grilled onions. Somebody spent time and, ch and care on this. Oh my God. This was less than the Impossible Whopper. S. Simply easy. It's an S. It is so damn good. S for so damn good. Dude, the produce, the cheese, the sauce. Come on. I'm gonna bring my dad here when he comes. Look at the cheese. Look at that. I know I have more burgers to eat, but I'm eating this whole thing. Less money. If only people that lived in LA would get this instead of anything at a fast food like chain. It's less expensive. Did I mention that yet? Thank you, Kevin Hart, for this gift. If you're in LA and you're not getting this, go over the program. And if you want to see me rank the entire menu here at Hard House, we do have a video for that because their whole entire menu is vegan. Their specialty isn't even these burgers, in my opinion. They have a hot chicken sandwich. They have a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. It's the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. They've got so much good stuff. They have vegan milkshakes. I rank all of it. Check that video out. I want another one, <laughs> but we have to eat more. We're gonna do. Carl's Jr. Hey, it's me again. I'm still in the parking lot of Hart House. I just unhinged my jaw like a snake to consume the rest of that burger. It was worth it. While I was sitting here shoveling it down, I remembered I had a thought. Like it came to me like a vision. Wahlburger. Wahlburger. Mackie Mac, my Boston boy. I don't know if it counts as fast food, but we don't have that many options. So I think maybe I should try it. I know he has an Impossible Burger. I don't know if he has any vegan cheese or vegan mayo or what. I have a feeling it's gonna be really expensive because I don't think it's fast food technically, but we'll see. We'll give it a chance, guys. I mainly just wanna showcase as many options as I can. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. And I don't want it to be underwhelming if I'm showing you just like four things. We're gonna go to Wahlburgers and then we'll do Carl's Jr. And then we'll do Mr. Charlie's. Ooh, I wonder if in that case I should do Monty's too. We might have to do a part two for this. I have acquired the Wahlburger and let me tell you, I have to go to the place where dreams go to die. And that is Hollywood Boulevard. And it went pretty much just as I expected. Some creepy green SpongeBob came over and thrusted, <laughs> pelvic thrusted at me. 
And Wahlburgers is interesting. It is like all these Mark Wahlburger movie posters, all these like cardboard cutouts of him and his brother and the chef. Seems to be a family affair. And it says on the menu that the Impossible Burger is Mark's choice. I asked them if they have any vegan cheese or vegan mayo. They said no. Seems like they have other stuff. They have like these spicy tomatoes, the spicy tomato spread or something. That's something. It was, I think, like 18 bucks. 18 bucks for this burger, so I really hope it's good. Honestly, you really can't put a price on having a disgusting green SpongeBob pelvic thrust in your face. I wish I had been filming. He said, Hey, beautiful. And then he thrusted. So here we go. 15 minutes, 10, maybe 10 minutes to make it. Interesting, caramelized onions. Yeah, this looks good. This looks juicy as hell. That's like the whole Impossible Burger. So it makes, I guess, a little bit more sense why it's so expensive. Where's the vegan cheese? When you're paying $18 for a burger, you gotta have some vegan cheese. Here it is in all its glory. Let's see what you got up your sleeve there, Marky Mark. Mm, whoa, <laughs> wow. They did something real nice here. There's like some spicy tomato like chutney and caramelized onions. So actually I don't miss the cheese as much as I would. The burger is cooked perfectly. It's got just a little bit of pink in the middle. I like to cook the Impossible and Beyond Burger like I would cook a regular burger. Pretty damn good if I do say so myself. How am I gonna not finish this? Wow, this is really good. This is like the juiciest burger. I know this isn't technically fast food and this is very expensive. Do I incorporate the price into the rating? Do I think they should have vegan cheese? For $18, I really do. Because of the price, because of the vegan cheese, I'm gonna give it an A. It would be an S. I think it needs cheese or mayo or something, but the, the tomato chutney is delightful. I see what they did there. Beautifully cooked burger, very nicely done. But get some vegan cheese and vegan mayo, and then you can get an S. Damn, that's good. I have to stop eating it. I have to stop eating it. I have to stop. Now we're going, Carl's Jr. Let's go, baby. Could I, do you still have the Beyond Burger by any chance? Yes. Can I have the Beyond Burger with no cheese and no mayonnaise, please, but with lettuce? Would you like to make that a medium or large combo? Just the sandwich, no combo. Sure. I have one Beyond Famous Star with cheese, with no mayo, no cheese, and lettuce wrap. Correct? No. Remove the cheese, please. I have one Beyond Famous Star with cheese, with no mayo, and no cheese. Correct? No. I want a Beyond Burger, no cheese, with lettuce, tomato, and pickles. That was fully an AI that just took my order. That's crazy. So apparently this place is 24-7, just drive through, and they have robots taking your order. Why do I feel like robots is gonna be like a bad word? Like, like a discriminatory word against AI. Why am I already worried about this? <laughs> the robot kept saying, vegan, you said Beyond Burger with cheese, no mayonnaise, no cheese. I said, no cheese. How can you give me cheese and no cheese? I don't know, man. It's anyone's guess what, it, what I'm about to receive. At least they still have the Beyond Burger. That's great. That makes me happy. I was worried about that. All right, we're at Carl's Jr. The AI just took my order and a real person came to the window and gave me my burger with no cheese and no mayo. It worked. Carl's Jr. cracks me up because they've got these four stars, but only one of them is like colored in or shaded in. So it just looks like they rate themselves one out of four. Anyway, I just needed to get that off my chest. It's time to try this. This cost even more than the Impossible Whopper. This was $9.25, and it's more than the Heart House one, which was only $8.75 or something like that. You better be good, is what I'm saying. I think I add, asked them to add pickles, so it should have lettuce, pickles, onion, ketchup, and that's it. Let's see. Well, interesting. The burger looks a little dry, but I see some ketchup on there, so maybe there's some hope here. All right. Let's try it. There's a nice char. I see a little char on this lettuce. I don't think they gave me any tomatoes, but it's good with the pickles. Mmm, wow. Oh, there is a tomato in there. The Beyond Burger is hit or miss for people. I know this. It's a very distinct taste. I get it. I love it. Look at the char. They really did something with this, you know? I'm impressed with how they cooked this. It's not dry. I actually like this better than the Impossible Whopper. Okay, Carl's Jr. The pickles really are such a good hack for flavor when you don't have mayonnaise or cheese. I'm gonna give this a B plus above 
the Impossible Whopper. It's almost an A minus. Here's the thing. It costs more than the Heart House one. And the Heart House one had like caramelized onions and vegan sauce and vegan cheese, you know? You have to lose a few points for that. And at least with the Wall Burger, it's like, yeah, that one was expensive as hell, but they had a nice chutney. But this char is really good. I'm very, very tempted to give this an A minus. But I think I'm gonna give it a B plus above the Impossible Burger because it's less dry. Because they gave me the whole Beyond Burger, I think. If you're at like a like a Burger King or Carl's Jr., get extra pickles, un unless you don't like pickles. Because it gives more of the moisture that you would get from a sauce, so it's not as dry some saltiness some vinegar complexity of flavor and all that jazz like yeah this is good I'm, I'm i'm impressed but i'm sad now because i feel like i think they said that they're taking it off the menu don't take it off the menu wait carl's jr wait don't do it don't do it and i just had a lot of really good burgers i'm impressed carl's jr is doing more than mcdonald's don't give up carl's jr please you're at least three stars to me last one i think we're gonna do mr charlie's just to round it out, even though I think we all know what that's gonna get. It's gonna get an S. I got my adorable Mr. Charlie's. It was $8.75, even cheaper, still cheaper than the vegan options at like meat serving fast food chains. So the vegan places are charging less for a vegan burger with way more on it. This comes with like caramelized onions, special sauce, vegan cheese, just saying there's no excuse for Burger King slash, I already forget what it was. If these places can do it, they can certainly do it. They can afford it. There's no doubt in my mind. And these are smaller businesses with less money. Required the goods. Aside from Mr. Charlie's having like the most incredible branding ever. And this bag is just so cute. So let's try it. Look at the melt, the cheese melting on this. Mm, it's simple. I'm not me slurping the cheese off the paper. I'm so feral for this, it's absurd. But seriously, like, this is all you need. This just tastes like a cheeseburger. I mean, it just tastes like a cheeseburger for me, my youth. From the burger, to the patty, to the pickles, and the cheese. Got a toasted bun. It's an S. I wish I got two. This is all you need. It's really all you need. It's just like, it's all the nostalgia, all the flavor. It's amazing. It's amazing. There's no excuse for McDonald's, Burger King, all these places not to have this. It costs less money at the vegan place. Like it costs less money to get a vegan burger at a vegan fast food restaurant than it does at a huge corporation that's international, like Burger King. Like I'm really glad they have the Impossible Whopper. But they don't have vegan cheese, they don't have vegan mayo, and they're doing it for less. McDonald's doesn't even have an option, which makes no sense. Life is good, man. That's all I need. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you learned about a new vegan burger that you didn't know about before. Which one would you be the most excited to try? Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know where I should go next. I'm always happy to hop back on the road again. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or night or morning or whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'm going to finish this burger in peace. It was great having you as the passenger princess. And yes, I'll see you soon. Okay, have a great day. Okay, bye.